Hello everybody and welcome to The Real Housewives Edit. My name is Elle and I am here to talk about the two loves of my life, editing and housewives. Well, you guys, we made it to 400 subscribers. I can't even believe it. We are here at this milestone. The next one is 500. If we get to 500, I will literally like, you will have to pick me up off the floor because I cannot believe you guys are all nerds and enjoy this stuff like me. So thank you so much for subscribing. Today to celebrate, I'm doing a bonus mini-sode on a scene that many of you requested, which is the scene between Erica and Kyle, where Erica is talking about the car crash and the snowing in Pasadena. It's a very brief clip of the scene, but I just would love to break it down for you guys because there are some things that the editors did to make it feel a slightly a bit more shady and also just kind of add to the drama and the confusion. So let's jump right in. And then have some sort of surgery. I don't really even know. Um, Why did you need to go to the hospital? Yes, yeah, called coma. And I think I like pressure and the anxiety and whatever. Oh. I'm not sure. I haven't How spoken. So oh. And okay. so he said like, you know. Um, Wait, who rolled the car? Well, then my son went because I can't go. And then on his way home, it was snowing and he rolled his car. So if Tom was burglarized, okay. how'd you so find out? Before we get into this part with Kyle, I just want to talk about the way they kind of went back and forth on Erica and Kyle in those moments. The conversation feels very disjointed. I don't know if this is the editors doing or if it actually went down this way, but Erica's not really finishing her sentences. And the anxiety and whatever, I'm not sure. I said that, like, you know, um, you see Erica kind of start sentences and then trail off and not finish them. And then it cuts right to Kyle trying to fill in the blank. Why did you need to go to the hospital? Who rolled the car? If this is exactly how the conversation went down, but it also could be part of the editor's job to sort of show that this story is kind of being formulated as it's being spoken. I am not here to comment on that. I am just saying there is an air of confusion that we walk away with as a viewer after this scene. We are confused. And again, I've talked about anchoring. Kyle is our anchor in the scene. Her face looks totally confused. She's trying to fill in the blanks. She's trying to get details out of her friend. It feels like it's an intimate conversation, but she's literally giving her nothing at the very same time. Now we're about to go into Kyle's confessional where she's telling us all these things coming together are not making sense. And the editors do something kind of interesting to elaborate on that more. So if Tom was burglarized, how'd you find out? Tom confronted the burglars? Did they do anything to him? And what about your son? Was he hurt? His car flipped? He's okay? This story okay, obviously sounds so fun. They did all these clips where Kyle is asking questions that all of us have. Instead of just having her speak them out in like a monologue, they actually have her ask the question and then they do a swipe transition to her next question and then a swipe transition to her next question. It gives that sort of feeling of how her mind might be feeling at this time and it should be exactly how our minds are feeling at this time. We have so many questions going on with what Erica's saying, none of it's really adding up or making sense. What they did with that transition effect is to sort of give this feeling of chaos and I have so many things going through my head. You guys know that phrase. I have so many questions going through my head. They actually illustrated that by using those transitions in editorial. This story obviously sounds unbelievable. That's the only word I can think of. It sounds unbelievable. Does that mean I don't believe her? No, but it's unbelievable. Okay, I want you guys to see there that when she said, Does that mean I don't believe her? No, but it's unbelievable. No music. Not having music there kind of gives this eerie, like suspenseful, empty feeling to us as the viewer, and we're not used to that. We're used to being cued with a lot of music in the episodes of this show. So to have it not going on is very different than what we're used to. And they're doing that on purpose to make a point. What is going on here? What is unraveling right before our eyes? There's snowing in Pasadena. He lives further out. Your son is okay? Yeah, he's fine. And we think Tom's okay? I know he, he made it out of surgery. Okay, I don't know. So that moment always gets me where she says, There's snowing in Pasadena. 
asking a question we all have. He lives further out. They throw that away and they clip that real quick and cut back to another question with Kyle. Your son is okay. There's a little bit of a comedic shady influence there by cutting her off really quick with that and cutting back to Kyle. To me, it just feels like she's got an answer to everything, but none of her answers necessarily make the most sense. That's my opinion! Kyle's showing that on her face. Oh, uh, what happened after that? Erica, I don't even know. It's like, this is, uh, it's like all crushing at one time. I'm sorry, Erica. Yeah, me too. Okay, so in that final moment, again, no music. I'm sorry, Erica. Yeah, me too. This is such a deliberate choice from the editors to take music out of there. They actually want us to feel sort of like that emptiness, that coldness in the room, that sort of like something isn't right. Everything's too quiet. Sometimes silence can indicate something major. Bad is about to happen. Shoe is about to drop. We're supposed to be given more space for us to think about what's really being said in the scene instead of being cued and kind of moved along by the music. So I just thought that was so interesting in the scene that they decided to pull music out of it and not cue us. That's really it, you guys. I just wanted to talk about that little tiny bit of the scene. If we get to 500 subscribers, we're gonna do another throwback scene. I have a list of throwback scenes that I'm still going to be doing. If you have any suggestions or if there's any episodes of any seasons of any franchise, because I watch them all, except really Dubai, Miami, and like, I think it's like Melbourne. If you guys have any scenes that you want me to cover, please feel free, leave it in the comments. I'll put it on my list and I guarantee you I will get to it. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time. Tom's house was broken into and he confronted the burglar and then had to go have eye surgery. And then my son had to go for his really? help. And then my son, he rolled his car five times on the way home. Yeah, I'm under a lot of stress. Wait, what? How's Erica? It's getting out of control.